Hey guys, welcome back. As promised, two for one today. Um, ignore my nails. There's a lot of paint on them already. And yeah, I recorded this a little while ago, but wasn't able to get it up when I wanted to. So my nails don't look like this today. Um, I have used a mold from Happy Dotting Company because they are awesome on Etsy. And this is a round, smooth uh, candle holder. So I was excited to paint this one and I have been anxiously awaiting the time to be given to paint this. So if you've seen my Royal Mandala, um, any of those, I've got a tutorial. I have them on Pinterest. I have them on Instagram, Facebook. They are all over the place. I actually made Royal Mandalas for my, um, for my wedding. All of my little gifts that I gave to everyone at the table, they all got a painted Royal Mandala from me. So I'm starting off in the center using a dark indigo blue and I painted it in with a paintbrush to get all the nooks and crannies on the inside. Uh, you can see Happy Dotting Company's initials in there. Um, so if you get the chance to visit Happy Dotting Company on Etsy, uh, use my discount code. You can get 10% off uh, when you spend $10 or more and they have lots to choose from. This is only one. Um, stay tuned because my next tutorial in a couple of days is actually how I make these, um, these molded stones. And so I'm trying to make a fun tutorial uh, so that everybody who I am suggesting to make these, that they're actually shown how to do it um, by me as well. Why not? Um, so also visit Happy Dotting Company here on YouTube and hit the subscribe button and make sure you check out all of her amazing videos. She's got so much cool stuff, uh, patterns for dotting and stuff like that too. All the tools you need, please visit Happy Dotting Company for me. You will not regret it. So I've gone from indigo blue to a calypso sky color and I'm using Martha Stewart uh, sponges to blend these two colors together nicely. I'm probably going to have to do another coat of the blue, the darker blue, because I can kind of see through it in some spots. Um, but I am just going to go along and blend one color into the next the whole way through. So I'm, I blended actually the two different shades of purple, perfect purple and eggplant, mix them together uh, to get this purple that I am sponging on right now. And make sure you are careful with your sponges. You don't want to use the same sponge from your purple in your blue. Use a different sponge for every color and then once it starts getting too messy, uh, you got to rinse your sponges out and, and dry them off on a towel or what have you so that you can continue working and not make a mess of all your beautiful work. So yeah, one lesson to learn is use a different sponge, a clean sponge. Each sponge gets their own color, their own special color. Don't mix them. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Um, so I am adding... Uh, the mixture of two different purples right now and then I'm going to work on eggplant and then I'm going to work my way down to black. So this is going to gradually change from dark blue to light blue to purple to dark purple all the way to black. So it's going to look so beautiful when it's done and the gradual change in the colors from blending is going to give it such a beautiful look and and I love royal I love my royal mandalas I gave each one of my guests at my wedding uh, one and we have them here we have ours on top of our wooden anniversary box that my husband made and our anniversary box is basically something we open each year on our anniversary and we've written a letter to each other and there's a little drinky drink in there and we share a drink with each other and we read our letters and we celebrate our anniversary. So um, on top of our anniversary box is our our wedding um, mandalas or mandalas, however you like to pronounce them. So yeah, they're, they're super special to me. They're so close to my heart and you can make them on anything. Um, so I've done it on rocks and you can do it on canvas. You can do it on candle holders. It's totally up to you. Um, you just pick your favorite colors and blend away and it ends up looking airbrushed. It ends up looking like you cannot believe you did that. 
and it's awesome. I just love it. And if you've been near my channel for any length of time, you know I blend, I dot, I use gold, I use a fine lining brush that I created myself um, because I wasn't happy with anything else that I could find in stores. Um, and you know I resin, you know I like glitter. So if you like any of those things, you are now officially a part of my family. <laughs> So you could still see some patches through that dark blue. So I'm adding a second coat there. I don't want to see any of the candle um, cement coming through or any of that background coming through. So I'm making sure we put a nice layer in there. Now to the black part. We are now doing from the bottom upwards black. And I'm going to mix that in with purple so that it blends in nicely and goes from black to purple. So it'll be a nice transition there as well. And like I said, if you don't like the choices of color that I'm using, you can definitely, you can go from like yellow to red, yellow, orange, red. It's, it's totally up to you how you do it. So on the darkest blue area, I'm using a bigger dotting tool. You can use the end of your paintbrush. I'm doing one dot at the top, one dot at the bottom, and one on either side. So I've got four. And then I'm going to go in between those dots in the center, or at least close to it from what my eyes can see. And I'm going to keep going in the center again so that we have... Um, a proper amount and there's like a similar distance apart between each dot and these are bigger dots of gold so um, yeah we're gonna be putting a little blue dot inside of those gold dots once they're a little bit more dry but we got to let those dry first I am gonna be getting my fine lining brush out too we're gonna be doing some little uh, petals around these dots of gold and I'm just kind of going to the very edge of the lighter blue to kind of keep them all similar lengths anyway, similar sizes. It's not easy to do that, especially when we're not, we're not using like tools in order to make sure everything's evenly spaced and evenly sized and, and you know, we're not being perfect about it. We're just, we're just going with the flow and making something beautiful. <laughs> That's my only goal here. Go with the flow make something beautiful don't stop painting either that's not fun you gotta keep painting all through all this stress you gotta just keep going because we are all in this together so you might not be able to see it while i'm painting it right now i'm sorry forgive me there <laughs> i can adjust it a little bit this color oh i just love it i love the purple I love the purple and blue where it transitions from purple to blue there. It's so beautiful. So I'm putting a gold dot on the on the point of all of these little petals that we've done. And I'm just using a smaller dotting tool. You can find things around your house like a pencil or something like that to put your dots on. It's totally up to you. And then I'm going to do like a little gold swoop. Um, my next tutorial is actually going to be how I make the molded stones so keep in mind uh, stay tuned for my next tutorial so you guys can watch how I do it so I'm doing like a very very thin line just kind of swooping like spider-man from building to building just a little swoop swoop um, trying to keep them similar size which does take time and practice, <laughs> so it's not easy the first time around, trust me. Everyone's like, oh, you always make it look so easy. It was not easy when I first started painting about seven, eight years ago. When I first picked up a paintbrush, I was laughing at myself. I was making fun of myself. I still, to this day, make fun of my rocks from seven years ago. <laughs> laugh. I laugh hard. I laugh really hard. But... I have grown. I've gotten better and that's because I didn't stop. I kept painting. So if you wonder why I'm always telling you guys, keep painting. That is why. So after doing the first swoop from building to building, I did a second swoop. And now I'm doing little pinstripes inside those swoops. <laughs> if someone's just turning it on right here, they have no idea what I'm talking about. But yeah, you guys can see what I've done. 
And now inside these gold dots, I'm going to put the dark indigo blue right inside there. You still want to see the gold. It looks like a, a gold ring, right? Now we've made a gold ring. So we can see that indigo blue, but we still see the gold. And then I'm going to be adding some little uh, crystals to those once it's dry. So you will see. Some of my gold is still a little bit wet, which then makes my dots not look like dots when I add them. Um, so I did have to do a couple of them over, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm putting some French blue in the next dots that we made, the smaller ones, a little bit of French blue, just a little, little tiny dot. Still want to see the gold. It changes it up. I just love the color of it. It's going to look so pretty once it's resined. I promise. Wait till you see it. I will be putting it in my shop as well as some other fun stuff. Some cute bunnies and stuff like that very, very soon. Um, so far, shipping is still safe. And... I uh, just want to let everybody know that if you do order something from my shop, keep in mind, I do not have any kind of illness, but um, my boxes that I ship to you touch many, many hands before they get to you. So keep that in mind and be safe. Um, wash your hands. Don't touch your hands near your eyes, nose, or mouth. That is the easiest way to get yourself sick at any time. Um, just stay safe guys. It's safe to shop online, but it's not safe to go out there. Okay. So stay home, be safe. Cause I need you guys all here with me, um, all the way through and after. So stay home, stay safe. If you need someone to go get you something, please don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, now I did do like little diamond things between each swoop. <laughs> um, so I, I will be able to show you that a little bit better in a second, but you can see the little diamonds that I've put in between. And then I'm going to back up a little bit so you guys can see exactly what I've done. There you go. Now I'm putting a dot on the bottom of each diamond. Pretty simple. I'm not going too all out on this. You don't really need to. It's going to look beautiful and royal uh, already. So in those third dots, the third row of dots that we've done now, I'm doing uh, eggplant purple. And you can see in those um, above the pinstriped areas that we did, I did some dots as well starting at the top. So in between all of those pointed petals, I did like a line of dots where I did the biggest one at the top and then I walked it down. Um, you don't have to. You can pause this and take a look at it to see what I've done. Um, but uh, you just get get free with it. Just do your thing. Uh, you can do all you want on this with gold and it's going to look beautiful. So um, we are going to... Uh, I'm going to resin it and then after I've resined it, because this one's a little bit tricky, so I'm going to show you how I resin. Make sure it's dry properly. And I use gloves. I don't use a brush. I use my finger to get it all in the inside there, make sure everything is covered. But you don't want to get too much in there, right? So um, sometimes I have to wipe a little bit out um, with my fingers because there's too much in there. But I'm just basically soaping it up as if it was a big old bar of soap with my resin, get everywhere, top, bottom, inside there. And I'm going to let it dry for probably about 10 to 15 hours, but I'm going to add crystals to it as well. So here is it resined. And then I'm going to show you how I add some crystals using some glue. Um, this is optional. You don't have to, but I just use like flat back crystals. It doesn't matter what color you choose. 
Um, I'm just trying to do kind of smaller ones so they don't like take over the whole candle holder, but I do want them to glimmer when I've lit the candle. So they just, it gives such a beautiful lighting and the mood and the crystals are shining and it's glossy and beautiful. So uh, I'm going to use some crazy glue. You have to be very, very careful not to use too much because it will make your resin surface foggy and it could ruin some of the shine and beauty that you've put into this. So um, you use a toothpick or I'm using a dotting tool to put my crazy glue on the spot. And then I use my wax pencil, which I got off Amazon, to pick up my crystal and put it on the glued spot. So I put a little bit of glue and then I put the crystal on. Put a little bit of glue, then I put the crystal on. I don't uh, do a whole bunch at a time, I just do one at a time. And, uh, and then I add the crystals. So it's super easy. They dry really, really fast. Um, make sure you get in, get them in the spots that you want them in. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and completed all those crystals for us. And I'm going to light the candle so you can see just how gorgeous this is. Um, it's beautiful. You know, it is just gorgeous. I'm going to put it up here so you guys can see it a little bit better. The colors you choose, the, the crystals, the gold, the shine, it's so beautiful. It just makes me happy. It makes me feel calm. I hope that you guys are able to make something like this with me. Stay tuned for my next tutorial so that you can see how I make uh, the, if I use the molds from Happy Dot and Company to make these. Uh, these types of things. So I hope this was fun, guys. I love you. Please stay home, stay safe, and uh, keep painting. Promise me you'll keep painting because it will help you get through these uh, hard times right now. You're all in my hearts, and I will be back very, very soon. Bye.